did a lot of preparation for this role. What was the most interesting part about preparing for the role of Batman? And did Christopher Nolan have any inspiration for you? I mean, Chris Nolan's movies are just like such an inspiration in themselves. I mean, I was, I was obsessed with those long before I ever thought I was going to be Batman. Um, but really, I hadn't read too, too many of the old, the, the classic graphic novels and also the new stuff. I was reading a lot of the new runs and I've never done that with anything before, like where you just read an in character's entire evolution from its conception until like contemporary um, uh, versions of it. And I, it's really fascinating to see how so many different artists and how they reinterpret it and reinterpret it and reinterpret it. And there's, there's a soul of the character which just kind of becomes a part of you eventually. And uh, yeah, I literally spent like 10 months just only reading Batman. <laughs> you bring so much creativity to the role. I can clearly tell it's inspired by the comic books and the Zodiac Killer. Could you speak to that a little bit more and what it was like to work with Rob Patterson one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, well, Matt, first of all, wrote a brilliant, beautiful, powerful script tried to take all the energy from the comics and the history along with you, even though it's a completely new interpretation. Zodiac Killer is like one reference, but that's not, I mean, he's the Riddler and it's Gotham City, so there's a bigger archetypal energy at work too. I loved working with Rob. I thought he was a brilliant Batman, uh, and I loved making this movie. Thank you so much. I, I saw the movie, amazing performance. Clearly the role takes a lot of inspiration from the 70s. How did you prepare for the role? Comic books, I movies? Up, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I was a teenager in the 70s, and uh, I looked at the Frank Miller uh, comics that obviously were influential to Matt, and uh, talked to uh, my expert, uh, eldest uh, uh, child, uh, Amadeo, who works for DC Comics, and pointed me in the right direction. She pointed me in the right direction, and. Uh, uh, and I also, there were real gangsters too that were influenced, like The Godfather, which influenced Frank Miller. And so, yeah, so I kind of took a little stuff from them too. You guys seem so nice in person, but in the film, you guys were so intimidating and scary. I also have to thank the uh, hair and makeup crew. The hair and makeup, are stunt wonderful. department. But our little sweet faces, they were slapping on tattoos and you prosthetic pretty, noses. We look pretty tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I felt tough. I definitely want to walk, want to walk past you in a dark alley, that's for sure. Thank you. That means the world to you. I had a question. Since you guys are so playful and you were twins, were there any pranks or shenanigans on set? Um, I think we had, we, I mean, we had a lot of laughs. We had yeah. a really good time. I think we were I, fairly professional I this think, time. Yeah, considering what we were a part of, you know, we kept the pranks kept to a minimum. The professional. This we did. time. This time. This time. In the past, no. Not so much. <laughs> and especially as you guys are playing gritty guards for a really shady club. Did you guys watch a lot of 70s movies to kind of capture that character? What were some of the big inspirations for you guys? We talked to Matt when we were talking to him about what this was. He really encouraged us to look at those like gritty 70s movies. I think we even read The French Connection was the first thing we read just to get in the door. Um, but this definitely honors that vibe. And it, I think it's what makes it so special. It's, ooh, it's sexy. I love it. <laughs> it's cinema. Yeah. I love it. And then comic book wise, did you guys read up any of the comic books? Try oh, to yeah. catch them? Uh, we, I, we, long time Batman fans and then like went back and kind of reread. Year one, long Halloween. Mm -hmm. And as, as a comic book fan, this was everything I wanted it to be. It really was. I can definitely relate to that as another comic yeah. book fan, so I love that. And then you guys had some amazing scenes with Robert Pattinson going full Batman. What was that like? I mean, Rob is the nicest guy, so funny, so charming, very, very kind. And when they would kind of like shove the bat helmet on him to do these fight scenes, he is ferocious. He is so committed to this role. He loves Batman and Bruce so much, and that is evident. But being across from it, I mean, we worked with some of the best stunt guys in the world who would prepare us for this stuff. But when it was Rob coming at us, it was like, he's oh a tank. my God, he's a tank. He's a tank. It, it was He's fun. so badass. It was so, so fun. I can't wait. So you got to see this on the big screen too, because it, it just pops. He's a tank. I, I did. These guys haven't. It was amazing. But thank you so much for your time. Alfred is struggling to, to be the mentor and fill the void that he knows he's got to fill. And he's not, a, he's not capable. Alfred's not really capable of of expressing emotion, but he's called on to, to, to actually keep an eye on, on, on this 
young man who's destroying himself and he's watching this happen and so it's a very it's a very fractured tense relationship that we have at the beginning of this i mean that's what's so incredibly extraordinary about what, of what he's doing with this character is that the vulnerability and the the sort of self-destruct mode that he's in when he's playing bruce and you know and then and then when he comes on as batman and there's there's a He's, he's a powerhouse and he's he's you know in control and it, it dominating and, and it's just the balance i don't think i've ever seen the bat that the, or the contradiction between those two characters played so strongly and the values played so strongly between the two characters this is the latest in a number of collaborations with matt reeves yes. what is it like working with him again and again and what keeps drawing you to his projects I, look I, I mean matt is just a world-class filmmaker apart from that he's a very very close and dear friend of mine and he chooses stories and worlds and, and as a filmmaker explores them and always goes for the emotional heart of the story. And 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 he's brilliant at, at, at he's a brilliant storyteller and this is no exception. I mean this in this in this film, the thriller aspect of the story, the noir, the the, the actual you know, journey that he takes the audience on is 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 extraordinary. But 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 what binds everything I think and what uh, to answer your question what what is it that draws me to working with him is just he's he's just an honest visionary and brilliant all-round filmmaker who's great with performance but also really knows how to work the camera around performance. So Batman is really like a new evergreen franchise every few years it's coming back and it's a great hit what was the genesis of this project and why did you want to do it? Well, it's been over 10 years uh, for our standalone Batman, but 80 years, of course, of Batman. And we just we just felt like this was a giant opportunity. Um, Matt had figured out a story that put Batman in the center of an investigation. Batman as a detective, something that we hadn't seen before, year two. So once we had figured out what our story was going to be, we just felt like we had something to offer to the fans. And that idea of a gritty Batman true to the comics in the 70s style, was that from the beginning of production or when Matt Reeves came on, did that become the new idea? Batman is a is a gritty noir. That's where it comes from. I look at Nolan, I look at Zack. Those guys made gritty, dark movies. We're just doing a Batman movie. You know, he he's in Gotham. Gotham is a tough, you know, gritty place. So I think we're just carrying on in that tradition. Um, but, you know, look, Matt really wanted to get inside that detective part of it and and pay homage to the, the, the uh, you know, just the, the comic book lore of 80 years of Batman. Exactly. And it was called Detective Comics to begin with, so that's, that's I love it too. And you guys have built a really unique universe here. Where do you think it's going to go next? You know, look, we, we wanted to do this one movie, get, you know, really take him on a big, wide, long arc, going from vengeance to hopefully a hero that provides hope to the city. If this, you know, works for us, then, you know, look, we have a lot to explore with all these different characters. You know, there's Alfred, there's Gordon, Oz is coming up, Selena, of course, has become Catwoman, so I feel like we've we, we set up, we set the table pretty well. So you created the song Dark for mm -hmm. this movie. Tell us a bit about how you came to create an original song. Uh, it was uh, quite the challenge because uh, I didn't get to see the scene. Uh, I was just uh, working from uh, on a description of what's going to happen and what the vibe was and uh, just went for it, honestly. And uh, it was not guaranteed that they, it was more like, okay, we got this opportunity. If it works out, it works out. And, and it did, thankfully, and I'm super happy about it. So. Have you seen it yet? No, that's the thing, I haven't seen it, no. So tonight's the first time, so I'm, I'm kind of nervous in a way. Uh, no, it was more like I had a meeting uh, with them and uh, they describe what the vibe was, what the scene was, what was kind of going to happen. Not too much. They wouldn't say too much either, which is understandable. They want to keep it a secret. So um, it was really a gamble, really. You know, I, I just went trying to make something that I think would be cool and that they would like as well. And I remember one note was like a lot of sounds, crazy, you know, and this song is very. I would call it a techno record, so it's it's very electronic, very, uh, very really crazy. You know, it's much more uh, aggressive than my usual stuff uh, in terms of sounds and and uh, tempo and stuff. Like that. And you recently collaborated with Katy Perry. Tell me about how that came about and what it was like working with her. 
It was great. Uh, it came about over a year ago. Uh, we, I had a record that she was very interested in and she uh, decided to jump on board on that and kind of tailor it after uh, her sound and uh, created this song called When I'm Gone. And like I said, it took almost a year to finish it, to get it out, honestly. Um, and now the song is out, the video is out, everything is out. So it's just great and she was so much fun to work with very professional very you know making sure all the t details and everything you know nothing uh, was uh, nothing was missed or anything so it, it was just really a really uh, inspiring and great uh, process to work with. Can you tell us about your residency at Tao coming up? Tao is uh, one of my favorite uh, clubs in the world. They, they run one of my favorite clubs in the world and they're the best people and I'm super excited to join residency with them. My residency has already started, but uh, the one in Vegas uh, called Tao Beach is gonna be a big one, building a brand new club and I'm one of the main DJs there that they are um, gonna have uh, playing for them. So very excited. Going on tour with Bad Bunny, what can what can fans expect? Uh, crazy show. I mean, Bad Bunny is the biggest Latin artist in the world, and uh, I've known him now for a couple of years, and he's just one of the most talented people I ever met. And uh, to go on tour with him is just going to be so much fun, and uh, it's going to be crazy. It's a stadium tour, and and uh, we've been wanting to do something together for a minute, so this just came out perfectly, and, and yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Last question, what else do you wanna share with your fans? What I wanna- Share with your share. fans. Uh, just uh, thanks for the support. Check out the song, the Dark, it's coming out, it's out today now, for the Batman movie. And yeah, that's it, thank you. Thank you, nice to meet you too.